Hello, I am Super Orange Cat, and today I'll be covering Steven Universe's ratings. As you might know, Monday night or Labor Day night saw the premiere of the new Steven Universe movie, which was actually a 90 minute musical. And the ratings for it were actually pretty damn good. It finished 12th in cable for the night, which on the surface seems kind of bad. Like, I mean, there's 11 things that beat it. But I mean, when you have to count the fact that WWE is always a juggernaut in the ratings and college football had multiple slots in before this, it starts looking a little better, too. And it got a .47 in the Nielsen ratings. As a comparison, if you followed any of my coverage of Tanami's ratings in the past, the highest number I think I've ever seen was maybe like a .40 flat for Dragon Ball Super. So that's just a show of the magnitude of this. Like, it did better than virtually anything has done Tanami for a long time. And also, in total viewers, it got 1.57 million people. And to give kind of a comparative data point to this, last year on Labor Day, we actually saw another pretty big cartoon event happen on Cartoon Network. In that case, it was the series finale of Adventure Time. Yeah, it's kind of hard to think that was one year ago. to Not today, but one year ago now. But yeah. Like Steven Universe, it had a marathon full of Adventure Time episodes leading up to it. And like I said, roughly same time of day. I think they both also aired at 6 o'clock in the evening. Both on Labor Day night. So... To compare here, Steven Universe got 1.57 million viewers. Adventure Time, 960,000 viewers. Steven Universe smashed Adventure Time in the ratings. And this is also to include the fact that Steven Universe also had another little trend go against it, in which it had further, like one more year of cable cutting. So general cable ratings this year are lower than they were last year because if you know the business of TV... Cable's dying, broadcast is dying, and everything's going to streaming services, and that's where the money is now. Like, you know, you have all these shows on Amazon, on Hulu, on Netflix that are becoming critically acclaimed, and it's just kind of taking business away. So that just speaks even further to the strength of Steven Universe. And it really raises the question about the future of cable. Usually, at least definitely in the past, shows would be episodic, like you would air one episode a week until the season's over, then you have a break, and then one episode a week over and over again. Steven Universe has been far from orthodox in its production schedule and definitely in how it's aired. As you might know, there's such thing as a quote-unquote Steven bomb, which generally explains, or the term given to the fact that a Steven Universe would have like months on end with no new episodes, and then all of a sudden like five get dropped in a week, you know. Like, stuff like that, too. And it really raises the question. Because if you follow those ratings, too, the ratings for those episodes of Steam Universe are damn impressive as well. And it's gotten to the point that when it does air, it's the highest rated show on Cartoon Network. Even higher than Cartoon Network's current cash cow, Teen Titans Go. Which raises the question, should this be the future of cable TV? Say, like a show is big like Steven Universe. Steven Universe over the years has really become a cultural juggernaut too. And it's just to analyze, just is this the way to keep shows fresh year after year after year? Like for example, look at a show like The Simpsons. It's been on the air 30 years at this point. Ratings for that show are hilariously bad actually. To the point where I would not be surprised if it gets below 0.47 for a new episode. Like that's just to show how, and is it because of the shows, par partially because of how the show is aired as an episodic weekly adventure. Like for something like The Simpsons, would it be better if Fox decided, hey, let's just air them on like four nights a year and air like five episodes on those four nights? Would it keep the ratings fresh? Would it build, would it build hype for the show in such a way that Steven Universe has been able to maintain a level of hype throughout the series run? Which is impressive, because I think Steven Universe is on, like, season, like, six at this point. At least five. They might be at season six at this point. And despite a lot of... I'll say there are periods where I've heard about a lot of fans kind of wanting to quit on the show. It's still maintaining viewership. in such a level that Adventure Time wasn't able to. 
Like, for example, early in Adventure, like, in Adventure Times Prime, they would get close to 4 million people for a new episode, for weekly episodes. But by, like, a couple years later, they would barely get 1.5 million. No, this is with much less cable cutting than we have now, so these, so 1.5 million back then is much weaker than 1.5 million right now. And then that's when they kind of started doing the pseudo Stephen Bomb esque format, where they would just burn and ep- burn like four episodes a week every other month or something. And then they try that really weird Saturday night regular time adventure show stuff with regular show, which I mean, I guess they were trying to be snick how Saturday how Nickelodeon used to dominate by airing new stuff on Saturday nights back in the nineties. That kind of failed. It just shows is this the way forward? Is Cartoon Network going to look at this and be like, hmm, maybe we should do this to Gumball. Maybe we should do this to Teen Titans Go. Make it a bomb-style format. So what do you guys think? How many of you think that Steven Universe has a bright future ahead of it? Are you loving these ratings? I'm going to preface it here before there's any comments in the comment section. I'm not really a fan of Steven Universe. It's the type of show that... I watched a few episodes when it was first coming out. I couldn't really get into it. But again, it's kind of like the type of thing where I can look at it, not like it, but I can definitely see how it became as massive as it did. Because it really does appeal to, like, the millennials really well. It's a show I think is targeted towards millennials. And I'm technically a millennial, but I guess I don't really have a millennial mindset or whatever. So again... What do you guys think? Do you like Steven Universe? Do you want me to start covering the ratings of Steven Universe too? Leave your comments down below. If you like this content, if you want more ratings content like this, please subscribe. Please hit that like button and click that notification. I am Super Orange Cat. Thank you for listening to my rambling.